The third biggest mistake teachers make using video in the classroom is by just playing the video and not making it an interactive part of the lesson. When you're doing or, or you're playing the video, uh, you're going to stop it. And what are your strategies for stopping the video? Is it for clarification? Is it for review? Are you indeed going to make some kind of other statement or bring in materials at that point and so forth that you haven't used before or that maybe you have used before and you're going to review them? This is well planned and thought out and we really think it's important of the stopping the video and knowing why and when you're going to do this. Never just play a video from beginning to end because it will invoke TV mode in your students and be a passive learning experience. Sometimes we think that classroom videos have gotten a bad rap, that people may think the teacher's just babysitting, maybe, uh, oh, you're just pulling something off the shelf, you really don't know what's in it, your teacher's not, not sure that it fits with what they've been teaching before, it's kind of taken out of context and just slotted into a particular, you know, 10, 15, half an hour, whatever, uh, time slot in a classroom. Through the 30 years that I spent in the classroom, various levels, I have seen teachers like use videos orange. over and over again in many different ways and with great success. The techniques for using video at different stages in the lesson are outlined in our expert guide.